Good morning all. It is the end of July. I have just realised that, th that there's 31 days in July. I thought there was only 30. Um, I've got my bag with me to show you everything I have been working on this past month. Um, now I do remember saying to Amy about two weeks ago, and I don't know if she remembers this, I don't know what I'm going to talk about because I've only worked on one project, which is not like me. Yeah, that's changed. It's amazing how things change so quickly. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few bits and pieces. Now this... It's got some Tic Tacs in the bottom, which I think have been in my knitting bag for ages that I never seem to eat. I just seem to move from bag to bag. So, <clears throat> these are some new things I have been doing. Um, perfect coaster size. I was, it's Starcraft's 30th birthday uh, this year. So they had a pearl party, P-U-R-L, a week last Sunday in Slaithwaite, where their mill is. And Lucy and I went from here. It was 30 retailers and 30 customers and loads of the blog stars were there. So... Emma Varnum, Jane Crowfoot, Attic 24, Twisted Thread, which is Phil, and Helen Shrimpton from Crystals and Crochet were all there. They were doing workshops, meet and greets. Um, there was a fabulous buffet lunch. There was incredible cakes. Oh, I had a, cup, I had a white chocolate cupcake. It was amazing. Um, and we did a little bit of a workshop, and I was lucky enough to get put in Jane Crowfoot's workshop. Now, I know Jane well, but I've never been taught by her. But I did think she'd be good because she always sells out. We get Jane here, I think, once or twice a year and a workshops always sell out straight away. So we did a beading crochet. I've added beads before I've been knitting. I've never done it with crochet. Um, I wasn't a star pupil. It took me a while. I think I actually only got that middle bit done in two hours. Um, but I did pick up loads of hints and tips from Jane, which I'm now applying to my crochet all the time. Um, and the placing of beads was fascinating and I loved it. So I did the middle bit on the Sunday and then went home and finished this out a bit. And I wanted to do more. So I thought then I would make, that That seemed big enough for a coaster. So I thought I'd make some more and use them as coasters in the lounge. But I forgot I was using a slightly smaller cotton so you can see it's not probably not really coaster size. I need to add something else to it. But look how pretty that one is. That is just my sort of colours of my lounge as well. So I really, really, really enjoyed that. And do you know what? I haven't got one bit in here to show you. From that, I became a little bit obsessed with going round in circles because crocheting round in circles, should say, not just generally walking round. Um, Jane was talking about the formula for doing a crocheted circle, and I've never done a circle. I've done squares, I've done stripes, never done circles. So I decided that if I was going to use these as coasters, then I wanted some mandalas to put some vases on and sew in my lounge. So I, on Saturday night, spent the night trying to crochet round in a circle on my own. I did it, it's not great, but it's all right. It's got a bit, bit hexagonal on one side. And I then wanted a proper crochet mandala and I spent ages on Sunday looking at websites for crochet mandala. Then somebody posted in the Black Sheep Wool's make-along group a finished Persian tiles. And I'd forgotten Persian tiles is made up of mandalas, basically. So I then, on Saturday night, started doing a the centre of the Persian tiles, but in those same colours. There are some beads on this, but not a lot yet. And my idea is to finish that, use that to put my vase on, and then use those as coasters on the same table. But we will see. It's, I actually think I need to, I think this is a bit loose and I possibly need to redo this. Um, it's coming up, I, I probably need to drop down, I think that on a 3.5 crochet, I could probably need to drop down to about a three millimeter. So that's what kept me busy at the weekend, um, which was that pattern. And that was Jane's instructions for the crocheted flower. Oh, not said what I'm wearing. Sorry. I need to tell you this because we always get asked, I'm wearing that. Which is from the Rower, latest Rower magazine, the Spring Summer magazine, which is number 65. And I am wearing Elementary in Soft Jack. Now, I'm not going to claim I knitted it. I've not. I picked it and had it made up. And But I've worn it loads and it's just my style, really. It's just the sort of thing I would wear a lot. Now, I have that in my bag, which I've not done anything with yet. That is Whirl, called Citrus Squeeze. That's going to be, if you've seen it, and I will probably do a separate video on that one, we are doing a new make-along, um, a crochet make-along in our Facebook make-along group, and it's called Peppermint Tea, which is a shawl in Whirl, so I'm going to be doing mine in that colour. Now, oh, I forgot I'm not showing you this one. Started this about ooh, 10 days ago. And I'm really, really, really in love. It's a new zigzag. Um, I have a camel coat 
and I've got it in my head that I wanted to make a zigzag scarf to go with it. It needs blocking a bit. It always comes a bit looser down one side. The side that I carry the yarn up always seems to be a bit tighter than the side where I don't. So that's the it's the zigzag scarf. It's wider than the last zigzag scarf I made because I've done it with exactly the same number of repeats as the pattern says. That's it. And I'm making that in these. And I've just realised I don't know what shades they are necessarily. That is Saltaire, which is Starcraft Head Over Heels. Amy's nodding, so I know I've got that right. This is West Yorkshire Spinners Signature Four Ply Sock. Passion Fruit Cooler? We think it's Passion Fruit Cooler. We're both looking at each other going, Passion Fruit Cooler? We think it's Passion Fruit Cooler. I won't say Passion Fruit Cobbler, but I know that that's wrong. So those two colours are making that, which I actually think I prefer to the initial zigzag I did in the Head Over Heels. And I do think it'll look fabulous with my coat. Now, oh, and my reading glasses, I need that. When I first started making the zigzag, I thought I would make it in King Cole Riot. And I found this at the weekend and I'd forgotten about it because I just wasn't getting on with it. And then I picked it up last night and actually I quite like it. And I started messing last night. I don't know why I picked, because I was knitting that one outside in the garden last night. Then when I sat inside, I picked that up. And actually, that will be those two colours. I quite like it. And I'm not a lover of, a, I'll be honest, I'm not a lover of a brushed yarn. Um, so it wouldn't be something I would invariably pick up, but I really like it. And when it's knitted up, this feels absolutely beautiful. So yeah, really, really like that. Now, what's in there? That's just empty. Uh, ignore my freezer bags, there's a reason for these. Here we are. Where'd that needle gone? Where'd, ah, it's not on the needles at the moment. So, this is where I'm up to with my mitered square blanket. So I am really, really, really enjoying making this. But I have put it down for a few weeks and I've not done anything with it. I'm using the shape is Metropolis, which is gorgeous. I did plan out all my colours and number them all. And then I started winging it. My idea being now that I'm going to have, I don't know if you can see that there actually, um, brighter colours on one side and sort of, sort of warmer colours on one side and cooler colours on the other, I think, now in my head. So what I've done... These are the next colours that I'm going to be making, which is why I've got all the freezer bags. So they're going to go across there. And then I've bagged all the others up into colours that I'm going to use in which order. So those are the ones to use at the end. And then look at this really nice squidgy little bag full of just all the bits that's left over. Um, what else is it? And I think that literally is it, because that is just my little bags of the Metropolis. So that's me, done, that's everything that's kept me busy this month. <laughs>